Welcome back to daytime, everyone. With the hot weather, now's the time to lighten up by getting a great haircut. Whether it's thick, thin, curly, or straight, today we have the hottest looks being created in salons across this country. Joining us now is Nicole Image to show us some of the latest looks. Hi, Nicole. Hi, how are you? Very well. I know when some people have very curly hair, they think they can't do anything but have it long. Absolutely. Because absolutely. if they don't, they'll have just this triangle on their head. And, and that's not necessarily true. We actually have Nicole here today, and Nicole has a very thick texture to her hair, and it's actually curly. Really? And with her job and being on the go, and actually being here in Florida, she wants something that would work well and be less maintenance. And so we went ahead and actually eliminated a lot of the hair and cut it shorter. And that actually works well because she's able to go ahead and um, blow it out, do whatever she wants to do, and it cuts the time in half. I'm wondering though, this looks like it would take a long time to style. Absolutely not, and it's so versatile because you're able to do whatever you want to do with it. She can wear it under, she can go ahead and flip it up, she just can put some paste through it, run her fingers through it, and with her color too, we kind of wanted to do something that would be more natural so that she's able to kind of have a and a trendier, edgy look, but she's able to maintain the natural look I as well. I love it. Very, very <laughs> cute. Thank you. All right, next model. This is Donna, and Donna actually has more of a medium texture hair. And with Donna's hair, what we wanted to go ahead and do was we wanted to give her something that would maintain the same all the way through instead of having bulk in certain areas because we tend to, with medium texture hair, we tend to get bulky more at the top or more at the bottom. We wanted something that would flow nice all the way through, so we went ahead and did a longer version of the shag. Oh, this is the longer version of the shag. <laughs> okay, I love it. Yes, and, and we also went ahead and we did kind of a chunkier highlight on the top, and that works well with more medium to fine texture hairs, actually, because of the fact that it, it makes the hair look fuller. It actually gives the illusion of it being thicker. So if you've got fine hair like I do, dye it. <laughs> Definitely. Just dye it, right? And Absolutely. Get, and two different colors. Yeah, that, the chunkier look really does help to give that full effect to the hair. How easy is this to style and how do you do it? Because that is so cute. The thing with this is Donna has more of a straight kind of texture to her hair so she can basically just flip the ends up and give it when, when she flips it up it actually makes it look better because you can see the layers but again this is something very versatile you can flat iron you can curl it's very easy you can even let it air dry I was wondering about a big brush is that how you did it the bigger time? the brush the smoother the hair <laughs> okay that's a good tip to remember very nice very absolutely. pretty absolutely and when you've got the the darker chunks like that you won't notice so much when the uh... absolutely right okay absolutely. got it moving on to the next model here and what a lovely haircut we have Diane Diana here with us and Diana actually had longer hair she had shoulder length hair and she's got very fine texture hair oh and I know what you're <laughs> I have the same thing and with Diana doesn't look hair, fine no not at all and that's because we eliminated all that weight and we put the bulk in in here now closer to the face so we actually have a weight line now that we've mm. established and that gives the illusion of having fuller thicker hair and with all of these models we went ahead and we added bangs to them and bangs aren't necessarily they don't actually work for everyone well, a lot of people are afraid of bangs very afraid of bangs. so we shouldn't be afraid no we shouldn't be afraid and the great thing like before before um, before we actually got here today, Diana and I were talking and we were saying how she didn't have bangs before we got here. We went ahead and cut them last week and oh. tried, decided to try something new. And the great thing with that is bangs bring the focus up here, up, whereas to the eyes uh -huh. and everything up here. But whereas when we don't have bangs, the focus is always down here. Ah. And with Some women. people think it's easier <laughs> to not have them, but really, that's that's not a lot of work. Absolutely, absolutely, not a lot of work. And I know it looks like a really easy hairstyle. What do you do? Just use the big brush again to just give it that little flip under? And it's cut under. It's an undercut. Okay. So actually, if you want to go ahead and shake your head a little bit, Diana, it naturally wants to fall like that. Very nice. So. Very pretty. So do you think less layering when the hair is really fine? Less is layering. Okay. Gotcha. Nicole Image, <laughs> thank you very much. Models, y'all look lovely. And we can uh, link you to Nicole through our website. It is daytimeonline.tv. Thank you very, thank very much. Thank you. Thanks, Nicole, for putting the color in my hair, too. <laughs> hey, coming up on Daytime, Dave makes a wonderful cannelloni straight from the pages of Southern Living Magazine. You don't want to miss it.